हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल ऑल अबाउट बायोलॉजी एंड दिस इज ज्योति वर्मा और आज हम लोग बात करने वाले हैं बॉम्बैक सीबा यानी कि सेलमेलिया मेलाबेरिका की जैसा कि आप इसका फ्लार देख ही रहे हैं कि फ्लार इतना बड़ा है कि पूरे कैमरे में समा नहीं पा रहा है सो so, ये बहुत ही ज़्यादा बड़ा इसका फ्लावर होता है और बेसिकली आज हम इसका डिसेक्शन करने वाले हैं और इसके बहुत ही ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर्स को देखने वाले हैं समझने वाले हैं इसलिए वीडियो में अंत तक बने रहिएगा सो so, ये बेसिकली है बॉम्बैक सीबा जिसे हम सेलमेलिया मेलाबेरिका के नाम से भी जानते हैं और इसे रेड कॉटन ट्री या फिर सेमल भी कहा जाता है हिंदी में इसके अलावा फैमिली ये बॉम्बे के इसी फैमिली में आता है कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स को अब हम इसके डिस्कस कर लेते हैं और इसके साथ साथ अभी हम इसका डिसेक्शन भी करेंगे नाव वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टैक्सोनॉमिक फीचर्स ऑफ बॉम्बैक सीबा विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सेलमेलिया मेलाबेरिका ओके इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज रेड कॉटन सिल्क ट्री एंड इट इज कॉल्ड एज सेमल इन हिंदी इट बिलोंग्स टू फैमिली बॉम्बे के सी अकॉर्डिंग टू हचिनसन सिस्टम ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन कमिंग टू फ्लावर सो फ्लावर इज पेडिसलेट कंप्लीट इट मीन्स दैट इट कंटेन्स ऑल द वर्ल्ड दैट इज कैलेक्स करोला एंड रूशियम एंड द गाइनोशियम इज प्रेजेंट इट इज बाई सेक्शुअल इट मीन्स दैट द गाइनोशियम एंड द एंड्रूशियम आर प्रेजेंट विद इन द सेम फ्लावर इट इज एक्टिनोमोर्फिक द फ्लावर इज वेरी लार्ज शोई एंड हाइपोगाइनस एज यू हैव सीन इट अर्लियर कमिंग टू कैलेक्स देर आर फाइव सेपल्स गैमोसेपलस सिचुएशन एंड वॉलवेट एस्टिवेशन गैमोसेपलस मीन्स दैट द सेपल्स आर फ्यूज together and the volvate estivation means that the edges of the sepals are touching each other so this is basically salmelia malbarica which is your bombax seba this is its flower it's very large flower large showy flower you can see it it's very large this one is the calyx of the flower and as we have discussed it earlier that there are five sepals here gamosepalous situation it means that the sepals are fused together so here what is happening the sepals you can see the sepals these are the sepals the sepals are fused together there is gamosepalous condition and it is five in number and the estivation here is volvate estivation in the case of sepals coming to corolla here the petals are five in number polypetalous in situation it means that the petals are free from each other and estivation is twisted estivation so this is basically corolla of salmelia marabarica you can see the corolla it's a very large flower it has very wide and showy corolla which is deep red in color and if you talk about the condition of corolla then in this case the petals are basically five in number you can count the petals here and the situation is basically polypetalous situation it means that the petals are free you can see that the petals are free from each other they are not fused from any side and if you talk about the estivation then the estivation in this case is the twisted estivation because one end is outside and other end is towards the inner side one end is outside other end is towards the inner side same, same situation is happening here in all the ends okay so there is twisted estivation in this case in the case of corolla the corolla is very large bright red in color and it is showy coming to our next category that is androecium so in this case the stamens are numerous the condition is polyadelphous condition in this case the stamens are present in groups or in bundles dehiscence is longitudinal and extrudes so in this case you will be able to see peripheral ring of bundles of the stamens in this case there are five bundles of the stamens and each bundle will have many stamen and in the center you will also be able to see two concentric ring of the stamens out of which the outer ring will show you such stamens which are of shorter height we will show you so these are the stamens of salmelia malbarica showing the polyadelphous condition as i have told you earlier in which the stamens are present in groups or in bundles so in this case you will be able to see a peripheral ring and in the case of peripheral ring there are five bundles 1 2 3 
फोर एंड फाइव देर आर फाइव बंडल्स ऑफ स्टेमन एंड ईच बंडल ऑफ स्टेमन इज हैविंग सेवरल नंबर ऑफ स्टेमन ओके एंड इन द सेंटर यू विल बी एबल टू सी टू कंसेंट्रिक रिंग्स ऑफ द स्टेमन आउट ऑफ विच द आउटर रिंग ऑफ द स्टेमन इज ऑफ शॉर्टर लेंथ यू कैन सी इट फ्रॉम दिस एंगल द स्टेमन फ्रॉम द आउटर साइड in the center are of shorter length and the stamen which are present in the center are of longer length so this is your polyadelphous condition in the case of salmeria malabarica we will make it more clear by opening the flower so firstly we are going to remove out this calyx portion so it it is very easily removed just you have to pull it out here and then by putting little pressure you can remove the calyx portion okay so this is how you can remove the calyx from the flower this is your calyx okay this is calyx is it is somewhat harder or somewhat thicker structure uh, and the gamosepalous condition you can see it clearly gamosepalous condition and volvate aestivation is clearly visible in this situation okay Okay so now we are going to remove out these petals very slowly we are going to detach out these petals to study the polyadelphous condition of the stamens here okay so just we are going to put little pressure on the petals to make them detach okay we are just putting very little pressure here to to the to just open out the flower so as you can see it clearly here we have put it little pressure and the petals have splitted up the whole flower has been opened up and you can see the whole structure how it is looking now we are going to remove out the petals completely and we are going to see that how the overall structure will look like okay so once you remove the petal you will see this beautiful structure that is your polyadelphous stamen okay so these are the polyadelphous stamen that are in my hand you can see it how it looks like these are basically the groups or the cluster of stamens which are arranged in a definite fashion it is looking very beautiful and now we are going to open it up to study it more okay this is how you can separate out these peripheral zone stamen bundles just by putting little pressure over this area you can separate it down and then you will be able to see such kind of structure here as you are looking it out this way so you can separate it like this and you can see the overall appearance of this type of polyadelphous condition in which you can see five separate bundles of stamens which are available easily which are visible easily to you these are five basically bundles of the stamens which are visible here and the central bundle is there which is showing certain stamens certain specific condition of stamens is available there so these are your polyadelphous stamen after opening out the peripheral ring you will be able to see such type of structure this one is the central core and in the central core you will be able to see two concentric rings 
अवेलेबल देयर विद इन द आउटर रिंग यू विल बी एबल टू सी द स्टेमस दैट आर लुकिंग ऑफ शॉर्टर हाइट एंड इन द सेंट्रल पोर्शन यू कैन सी सर्टेन स्टेमस विच आर लॉन्गर इन हाइट ओके सो दिस इज द सेंट्रल पोर्शन ऑफ द पॉलीएडल्फस स्टेमस हैव एवर द फेरीफेरल बंडल्स आर अवेलेबल देयर यू कैन सी इट आउट so this is the central portion of the polyadelphous stamen uh, showing you two concentric rings the outer one is having the stamens that are of shorter height and the central one is having the stamens that are of longer height okay so this is the central core of the polyadelphous stamens in the case of salmelia now we will open up this structure to see down the style and the stigma so the easiest way to track down the style and the stigma is to remove all the peripheral ring bundles and then uh, you can take down the central one and then what you have to do just you have to place your needle or your forceps towards the lower side of this central ring and you have to open it out then you will be able to uh, track out the style and the stigma very easily so just we are going to remove it out and we are going to see the style and the stigma we will not be able to see ovary in this kind of flower because this type of flower gets detached easily from the tree uh, so ovary will not be able to be seen in this kind of structure but if you open this structure you will be able to see the style as well as the stigma so we are just removing these structures to see the style and the stigma so this is your this structure that you can see here is your style and the stigma of the gynoecium portion the ovary is however not available in this type of flower because the flower gets detached from the tree so in this case you will be able to see only the style and the stigma now coming to the gynoecium portion so it consists of two to five carpels basically five carpels in carpus condition superior ovary two or more ovules in each locule axile placentation style is long and stigma is 1 to 5 we have seen style and stigma here if we talk about fruit and seed then in this case the fruit is capsule and the seeds are endospermic in nature if we talk about the floral formula of family bombycaceae we are talking about family bombycaceae floral formula here okay so it is actinomorphic bisexual calyx will be 5 gamosepalous corolla will be 5 polypetalous androecium will be indefinite 5 to indefinite and gynoecium will be 2 to 5 syn carpus superior this is of family bombycaceae okay now we are going to discuss some special features of salmelia so flowers appear in the spring season normally in march you will be able to see flowers in the tree its capsule contain white fiber like cotton which is used in uh, textiles leaves are palmately compound if we talk about the uses then it is used in cheap furniture it is used in pillows the fallen ovaries are dried and used to flavor biryani in andhra pradesh and tamil nadu if we talk about the other features like the dried cones of the flower are an essential ingredient of a dish which is named as nam nigeo spicy noodle soup so it is used as a ingredient in this noodle soup in thailand okay it is used as tribal medicine in diabetes bladder and kidney stones acne and liver disorders and mainly himalaya acne and pimple cream contains bombax malabaricum flower extract okay so these are some of the special features of salmelia malabarica hope you like the video uh, and just subscribe to my channel for further updates thank you so much